What you guys got another video here for you. This one's on how to fix your internet connection after you've removed malware from this system. Now malware sometimes as you remove it, it does a lot of damage to the network settings as in uh, tcpip.sys or afd.sys and all these other types and it will cause corruptions in the registry as well. Okay, and malware does this and also rootkits and all these other types of infections that you may get on the system. So what I'm going to do here is attempt to show you some ways of going around and fixing that, okay, rather than formatting the machine. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is make sure the system is 100% clean and free of any infection, okay. And then the next thing I want to do is use this program called fss.exe. And this is made by uh, Farbar. Uh, basically, uh, it's going to scan these areas that I tick. Okay, Internet Services, Windows Firewall, System Restore, and uh, Security Center and Windows Update. When I do scan, it's going to give me some information, make a log file and give me some information of those areas, okay, so we can actually see what's going on. Now, I know there's nothing on here at the moment, but I'll explain and show you another uh, part that is infected, and it will show you what it looks like. So let me just close this off and show you an example version of what it would look like. Now, this is an example and it will have um, up the top here you can see it will say uh, checking startup type attention unable to open AFD registry key uh, the, the service key does not exist now that may be a case that the file is missing or something like that and this will be what it looks like here and it will flag stuff up okay and also local host is blocked and you may get something looking like uh, this one down here in file check it will say attention uh, Windows System32 drivers tdx.sys is missing. That means the file is not there, and that's why you're not getting any internet. And this is going to give us a little bit of a heads up on, on how to fix it and how to eradicate these problems. So uh, let's uh, get going on the next part. So once I've run that, and now we know roughly what's going on, <clears throat> we want to get some registry keys. Now you're going to need either a clean, fresh machine to copy the files from that Windows 7 to this new Windows 7 okay now I will put all these registry files that are commonly hit on my server and put download links to them so you can actually use these files as well for Windows XP Windows 7 and also uh, Windows Vista so we're going to go to the registry here and I'm going to type reg edit and then once that's open we're going to go to H key uh, local machine and then we're going to go to system and then current control set and then services now inside here this is the registry keys you're going to need to back up okay some of these ones get affected by malware AFD for instance that is a common one that gets attacked and uh, you can back this up on a nice new clean machine by right clicking on this and exporting it okay now it's a Windows 7 so I'll export this and call it AFD 7 and that means it's for that's the AFD and it's a Windows 7 version and I'll just save that now basically what that's done is it's backed up all that registry part for the AFD and if I edit this and show you that's what it looks like so now we know we've got a good um, registry part we could actually take this to the infected machine and run it now it's no good backing it up on an infected machine because all you're going to do is copy the infected registry and put it back on so you need to do it on a good known working registry that's clean I will put a lot of these uh, files up on the uh, server for you to download okay so that's how you back that up now that can be used for a lot of other areas now I'm not going to go right through every single thing here but I'll show you a couple that normally get hit DHCP gets hit normally um, for different types also um, I'll just sort of go through these and try and find a few that normally get hit. Uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, I've got there's a T one here that does TDX that gets hit, and this is the type of ones you want to uh, recover from another uh, sort of machine, really. And then basically, there's loads of other types. You've got uh, another one here. I'll just quickly show you. Uh, NetBT and also uh, NDIS does at the top there NDIS there's a few other different types okay TCP IP you've got which is another one that gets uh, attacked 
so if there's loads of different types okay that will actually get hit by um, these types of malware and that's how you back them up and put them onto a pen and then take them okay now I did say that's the registry part how do we back up the uh, files where do we get the files from so I'll show you where you can get those from so I'm going to go to the uh, C drive here and then into Windows and then we're going to come down right away down to the W here okay and uh, there's the W there that's the one so it's a win SXS I'm going to go into here and once we get there we need to type in there AFD dot sys so AFD dot sys and do a search and what that's going to do is search for a nice clean file that's on the system it won't be uh, now this file normally is in the drivers folder but this folder file as you can see is not in there and we can use this file it's a known good file so I'm going to copy and paste that onto my desktop and if that file is missing or corrupt that's how you can back it up now for Windows XP it's going to be slightly different you'll have to go to um, NT uninstall or um, DLL cache folder in the Windows directory and you'll have to uh, do it that way um, that's a totally different area or you can use the service pack 2 or something like that to pull those files out and the same thing with Windows 7 you can actually use a Windows 7 CD as well and pull those files out okay so um, that's how you basically find those um, let me just do one more just to show you uh, if I do end this as just for an example and do a search you'll see that it actually finds f files like that and there's another one there okay and I just need to right click and copy and paste it on my desktop now once you've got those files you've installed the registry and then you would copy this file and then take it to the infected computer so put it onto a pen drive take it to the infected computer and go into the system 32 folder which basically is in drivers and then here you will find your files that you've got and you've got afd.sys there as you can see and if this was uh, infected I could delete, get, delete this one and then just right click and paste this new one in there and that will put the new one in okay and that's how you fix the file and the registry parts for the areas that may be infected okay another place you want to be checking out is your services area and you can get there by going on the start or the all button there clicking on uh, control panel then administration tools and then services and inside here you're going to get a list of services that you're going to need to make sure that are running now obviously pretty much the obvious ones are things like DHCP client if that's not running you're not going to get no um, internet and uh, you want to make sure that this is started up and running Now, normally these get started up on a reboot once you've put all them files and stuff in the registry keys in it normally fixes them but it's best just to start them up if they're not started okay and have it on automatic so it starts automatically like that okay now also DNS is another one just make sure that's running and basically just come through and have a look and make sure some of these ones are running and you are getting internet okay and that's pretty much it really um, TCPIP as you can see there you're gonna need to make sure that these are running as well and that's pretty much it there so just go through these motions and make sure these are running properly the next part once you've done all that is use another tool called mini uh, toolbox there's another tool by a uh, far bar there very useful tool and what you're going to do here is flush the DNS once you've done that also uh, we're going to fix or reset the uh, Firefox uh, proxy settings and also reset the IE proxy settings and then click go and that's going to want to re uh, start once you've done all this sort of stuff so once you've done all this it'll give you a log file and show you what it's done there okay let's reset that part the next bit you want another tool you can use that might be handy for you is uh, a virus uh, DNS repair and this is going to actually show you what's on the DNS to see if it's been uh, uh, manipulated or changed by any other sort of program so this is another good thing to check okay okay the next thing we want to do once we've done this one is we want to re repair the uh, TCP IP stack now you can actually use 
um, Microsoft tool here. Now if you haven't downloaded these I will put the links on the uh, server there so you can actually download these. It's, I'm just getting that all prepared for you and uh, basically you just go through the motions here and this will actually go to fix a lot of these issues and this is actually going to repair all that and that's now finished. I'm going to say no to this but you should re reboot really. Then the next part here is reset the host file and you can do that with this um, Microsoft tool as well and that will basically run through that part and do that as well. I'm not going to do it in this one but you could actually just go through the motions and it will repair it and put it back to default settings. Okay once you've done that there is a bat file that you could use that does the same type of thing really I'll open it up and show you what it does is it will replace the host file and also it will uh, reset the actual WinSock and also reset the uh, TCP IP stack okay and then flush the DNS in the same thing so you could do all that in one bit click of this bat file and it will do it all for you and that will be pretty much that okay so now that's done the last thing that you can use is another little tool that's pretty useful and I just want to show you it I'm pretty sure that will fix all your issues but another tool that you can use is this tool which is very useful and it's got a lot of the tools I've already talked about in this one little tool as well and there is a load of other tools on the internet um, but there's no point going through them all because they will pretty much do the same thing and I think that is pretty much it you should be back up and running so once you've done all that you should be back up and running and uh, you should have your internet back okay now remember each individual problem is different to each other one so each file it might not always be afd.sys it may be something else so but you can use the same method with different files and different registry keys okay and you've show, I've shown you the places to look okay so I hope this helps you out my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and share support and rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now